Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have layout 13 of the 10 more days of sketches. So this is a sketch that I'm using. I believe it's from Citrus Twists. Um, so far, all three of the last layouts have been Citrus Twists. I really uh, enjoy their layouts. I think they're exactly um, my style and I love how clean they are. So I'm just, if I like it, I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> um, so, you see here that I have a uh, pearlized piece of cardstock paper and I'm just gluing some snowflakes um, onto it. Um, originally I had cut this layout uh, from two separate pieces of um, cardstock. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use the dark blue, the navy blue that you see the snowflakes cut out of or the pearlized. Um, and in the end, I decided to go with the pearlized paper, um, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> uh, my silhouette cameo actually made up my mind for me. So when I ran um, the blue cardstock through, it cut perfectly without a problem. Um, and then when I ran the pearlized paper, it didn't cut through at all. So even though they were the same thickness, I don't know what happened. My silhouette just decided to take a break, I guess, but it didn't cut through. So it made that decision extremely easy for me. And uh, I decided that I was going to use uh, the white because I literally had no choice. <laughs> so uh, it's just the way it worked out. And I'm glad that I cut it out of uh, both. So I just used the white piece of cardstock um, it already had the snowflakes cut out of it and because it, they were going to be covered um, anyway, uh, they weren't cut all the way through so they were just kind of, um, I guess, lightly embossed in there. I just used the blue snowflakes and layered them on top. I just glued them on top and so you can't tell that that paper was even run through the silhouette cameo. <laughs> So the photo that I'm using is of my littlest meatball and here we were just waiting for her sister um, at pickup time and uh, you know it's winter here in Canada and so most years we have a lot of uh, snow um, and I live a little north of this actually I live north of the city so we get a little bit more than Toronto would get um, and so uh, my girl loves the snow. <laughs> They both do actually. And so I'm veering away from the uh, sketch layout just a tiny little bit. Now this border sheet that's at the bottom, um, the photo lies in the sketch. The photo lies directly, you know, within it. I decided that I wanted it to come off the page slightly. Um, and I like the look of that. Here I have more journaling. And for my OG peeps who have been watching me for a while, you know that I don't journal. And so some people on my last layout had said, wow, you journaled, you know, like it's huge. It's like, it's big. Wow. So glad that you journaled. And like, yeah. <laughs> so I thought I had this time and I decided to journal um, instead of covering it up with a piece of ephemera like I usually do or something else. I decided to take that opportunity um, to type something out on my computer and just print it out. Uh, it's just on regular uh, computer paper. Um, I just cut it out, that's it. And I like to use um, like a typewriter font just so it kind of looks like I have a typewriter, uh, even though I don't, I just use my computer. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you, the collection that I'm using is Crate Paper's Snowflake. And so, this was their winter slash like Christmas collection and I have not used it, I don't think for anything Christmas. Um, the, the colors of the collection are not traditional by any means. Um, they're pinks and blues and yellows, you know, typical um, crepe paper colors, like that light minty blue, um, that very soft kind of salmony pink um, and the navy, very, you know, very crepe paper. And um, I've been using it for winter and I decided to pair it with this um, layout in particular uh, was because the photo that I'm using, my daughter has a um, pink in her snow suit. Well, I couldn't find the words there. She has pink in her snow suit. And so what I did is before printing out that photo, I just used a filter on it. And um, that made the photo, because the snow, her snow suit is like bright fuchsia pink. And so 
it wouldn't have gone very well with this collection. It's, this collection is just very muted. And so what I did is before printing it out, I just use a filter on it that just kind of muted the color. Now here I was trying to use the um, thickers that came with the collection, but you know, they just did not work for me in this case. And that's okay, sometimes things are not gonna work. I did not have a lot of black um, and the black is very heavy. I did not have a lot of that in this layout and so I didn't feel comfortable using that as um, my title base. Also, the sketch shows that there is two photos on this layout. So one at the bottom where I, where I do have one and then one at the top where I have that Polaroid looking picture. Now I knew going into it that I wasn't going to scrap two pictures. Um, I just wanted to um, document the one. And so I knew that in that place that I was gonna put some type of documentation. I mean, sorry, um, embellishment, jeez. Um, and so what I was gonna do, I had no idea. I knew I was gonna, it was gonna have to be something a little substantial. So I decided to pick these thickers from my stash. And these are gold, like chunky glitter, and they're called Fitzgerald. I have quite a few of these packs in like different colors, like some without the glitter. And I'm just going to add it to my layout um, in a slight arch. I just eyeballed this. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know. So it's kind of hard to tell on uh, camera, but in person, those those letters really, the alphas really do jump out and um, look really good. But the camera just, the camera had, a th <laughs> guys, the camera had such a tough time focusing on this paper for number one, because it's white. And second of all, because it was pearlized, it was throwing my camera completely off. Even the color in editing, I could not fix it. And those glitter letters, oh my gosh, even my uh, photography camera, couldn't capture it. Maybe I need a different lens. I'm not sure, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> they are glittered letters, like chunky glitter. You guys know what those look like. So I didn't like the huge contrast and how hard that line looked between that pink border paper and the white. So I decided that it needed some other layering pieces just there. Um, and so now I'm going in with the 12 by 12 chipboard sheet. I'm going in with the six by 12 sticker sheet, uh, some more of the ephemera and just adding some labels and doodads and like smaller die cut pieces to fill in the gaps and to make this layout my own. Um, I'm also taking some metallic gold thread and I am just creating a nest. That's where the other photo should have gone. Um, but I'm just gonna create a cluster there with some snowflakes and um, other ephemera and do it that way. One photo was enough for me for this layout. Um, you know, maybe if I retry this layout once, you know, again, um, I will use a second photo, but for now, I didn't feel the need to. This one was good enough. So I love the stars in this collection. I love that it had stars and, you know, snowflake type looking stars. And so it went very well with, um, you know, the sketch that I chose because it I actually used the snowflakes like the sketch provided. Um, if you didn't want to use snowflakes, you could have used hearts or circles or, you know, anything really. Um, yeah. And it didn't even necessarily have to be cut out. Uh, could have been, you know, embossed or watercolored or even stitched. Those That would have been a great idea as well. I'm going through the 6x12 uh, sticker pack and I'm pulling out some of the stars as well, including that light blue, just adding more uh, detail to my layout. It's, you know, what makes the layouts mine. Yes, the idea came from a sketch, but I mean, all the embellishments, um, they're mine. So now I'm going to go in with some Heidi Swap Color Shine, of course, and that's how I feel it, finish off most of my layouts. Um, and you're going to see that I pull out the sketch and I'm pretty sure I show you the sketch. And then I realize, oh crap, <laughs> I forgot an element and that's okay. You know, you didn't have to add it, but I decided that I wanted to go back and add that top piece. I change it a little bit. I don't make it go straight across. I make it, you know, like shorter and just add some simplicity to it. Um, it also draws the eye upward just a bit as well. 
I was very careful not to muck up the Heidi Swap Color Shine because it doesn't absorb into the paper um, on this particular paper as easily because of the pearlized finish. But that's my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the comments and all the thumbs up and all the positive, you know, like vibes you guys send. And I love that you guys are enjoying this series again. You know, I'm really trying my best to keep up with it. So thank you guys so much again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing um, and give the video a like button. It really a like button give it a like it really helps my channel out thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video ciao ciao